Hey everybody, it's Brian for jailbreakzone.com again, and in this video I'll be showing you a little bit more of the multi-touch gestures, uh, primarily in Safari because there are some new ones in there, and I'll also be showing you some of the user interface tweaks, and I will also be showing you the new About This Mac area. So first I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari. You can see the new little animation that just popped in, it's a lot like iOS. So one of the new features in Lion is you can pinch to zoom and zooming in on a web page is just like on iOS. So when you zoom in it will re-render the page so it shows up nicely. You can use two fingers to scroll around the entire page and of course you could use two fingers to zoom out of the page like so. So one of the other things I was going to show you is when you're going back and forth in between pages. So I'm going to click on the Mac page, and then let's go to the Lion preview. So if I want to go back to the page, I have to use two fingers, and it will go back to my previous page. Now sometimes it's going to have to reload it because when you go back and forth, it pretty much makes a screenshot of the page so you can see it behind there. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, I don't know if Chrome or any other browser does this just yet. I think it's a Safari only thing. The version of this is 5.1. So this time I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the basic user interface tweaks. So you can see here that the buttons, they aren't as rounded as before. They're more sort of squarish. So it looks, to me it looks nicer. It looks different and it's about time that OS X has received some sort of facelift. Um, I'm going to go over and Oh, here's Finder. Finder looks a lot different because when you first open it, it goes to your All My Files. And here it's just going to give you some documents and things like that. And since I have this window open, in Line you can actually resize the window from all four sides as well as all four corners. So you can just grab anywhere and you could resize it in any way you want. In Snow Leopard and the previous generation of Mac OS X, you could only adjust the window size from the bottom right corner. So that's pretty cool. You can see that all of the icons on the, on the left sidebar, they're all black and they're all grayscale, which is sort of ugly. But <clears throat> maybe we might get the option in the retail release of Lion. AirDrop is a new feature where you can easily transfer files between Macs or PCs running OS X once they hackintosh it, of course. Um, Everything else is pretty much the same. You just have the All My Files and the AirDrop area. And then here you have your devices. I have two partitions. I'm dual booting, so I have Snow Leopard and Lion. This is the Recovery HD feature. So you could also see that I think the red, yellow, and green buttons are there. They look a little bit different than in Snow Leopard. So finally, I'm going to go ahead and show you about this Mac. Now this here looks the same. Uh, you can see that my build number is 11A390. But if I go to more info, System Profiler has been replaced with System Information. It's pretty much the same thing, but it, it's more dumbed down. You could still access the information from the previous System Profiler by clicking on System Report. And then you'll be taken to the familiar familiar screen of what you would what you're used to seeing in System Profiler. You can access your basic information such as your ATA, your SATA information, RAM information, GPU info, um, and yeah. Let me go ahead and show you some of the other information from the new system information area. Let me see what version this is, 1.07. Okay. Um, on the left side, you get information about your copy of Mac OS X. And then over here you get information on your computer. You can see that I'm running a mid-2009 15-inch MacBook Pro with a 2.66 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. And I just noticed that FaceTime is in my dock, so FaceTime comes pre-installed with Lion, and if you're on Snow Leopard, you have to pay 99 cents for it. And you can see that I have 8 gigs of RAM, and that's my serial number. Um, here are or here's some information on my displays. I have the built-in display into my MacBook Pro, and then I have the display that I'm plugged into. It's an Acer P244W 
24 inch 1080p monitor. I have the resolution set to 1280 by 720 just for the sake of proper YouTube 720p uploading. Here we have some storage information on the various partitions and disks. And then here we have some RAM information. It says my Mac has two RAM slots, so each of which has four gigs installed for a total of eight. And then you can also click on this to get some Mac upgrade memory, or excuse me, help information, and you can see that their page is not actually up yet. And then finally we have the battery tab, which tells us which gives us basic information about the battery. It's functioning normally, it's fully charged, it's currently charged at 100%, and it's currently plugged in via the power adapter. The support tab will give you information on where you get info on the user manual, support, specs of your computer. And finally, we have the service tab, which, take, which can take you to where you can figure out if your warranty is still active and things like that. So that is the new system information slash about this Mac. So I hope you've enjoyed this video to get a sneak peek at what's coming in Mac OS 10.7 Lion. I think I'm going to be doing one more video and in that video I'll be showing you some of the stock applications and how they changed because iCal changed, address book changed, mail definitely changed, preview's a little bit different, text edit looks a little bit different. Photo booth starts up a little bit differently, but I'll show you that in the next video. So if you'd like to get your hands on a copy of this preview version of macOS 10.7 line, you can just head on over to jailbreakzone.com and you can download the torrent there. Thanks a lot for watching. You can leave any of your comments down below. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.